Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, an iPart and um, an iAssembly and how to retrieve uh, the iPart description in order to have it uh, on the um, iAssembly below material. Let's get started. So we are going to create a new part. So let's create uh, a box. We choose the plane, XY plane. Then we draw the rectangle, so 100 by 100. And then the extrude elevation, so the high of the box, so 10. Okay. So this is our simple parts. We have to uh, transform it into an eye part. So we need to go to the manage tab. In the author panel, we click here, create iPart. Uh, as you can see here, you have uh, some parameters. We need to get the D2 parameter, that is the extrusion elevation, so extrusion high. Let's transfer to this other panel. So, and then this is the iPart table. As you can see, there is just one row. We need to add uh, another row. And here we can change the value from 10 to 20. So we have two different instances of the high part. One with 10 millimeters and one with 20 millimeters. So that's true. Okay. So, as you can see, once the high part uh, is created, you get a table here. If you open this table, you can switch from one instance to the other. So just double click on the other and you will see that also the model is changed. Let's do it again. One and two. So uh, the next step is to... Okay, let's uh, activate back the first one. The next step is to uh, right click on the eye part and uh, go to the eye property. We need to create a custom eye property. So we go in the custom tab. We write here uh, eye part description. It's text. It's okay. Head. Okay. And then if we edit again the iPart table, so right click edit table, we can see in the property tab that we have just at the end, we have the custom iProperty we just created. We select it and we transfer to the right panel. As you can see, also the iPart table gets populated. So, so in the iPart uh, description column, you can type in uh, your two values for the two iPart instances. So for the first one, this is iPart1. And this is iPart2. Okay, so far so good. Let's click OK. And so we are pretty done with the high part. We need to save it. Uh, we call it uh, high part. The next step is to create uh, an eye assembly. Oh, we can standard assembly create. So we need to place our iPad open. As you can see here, you have you can choose which instance of the iPad you want you want to insert. So iPad one or iPad two. Let's insert the iPad two. Okay. Right. So just one instance. So this is a, a simple assembly. Uh, in order to convert it to an eye assembly, we need to do almost the same thing we made it for the eye part. So we need to go to the Manage tab and in the Auto panel, 
create that assembly. In this window, we can see the iAssembly table uh, with just one instance, the default one. And this is our iPart. As you can see here, we have this component, this table replace. We need to transfer to the right panel and uh, we will see it on the iAssembly table. So let's create a second instance. And uh, so we can choose for the iAssembly 01 instance, we can choose the iPart 1. And for the second instance of the iAssembly, we choose the iPart 2. All right. We are pretty done. So as you can see, once the iAssembly is created, it gets a table here. If you open it, you can choose the second instance. And uh, so also the iPart gets changed. So for the first one, you have the 10 millimeters extrusion. And for the second one, you have the second instance of the high part with the 20 millimeters of extrusion. Right, uh, finally, we need to get the high part description into the pillow material. So we switch to the assembly tab, pillow material, and then we can add a custom eye property column and this must be exactly as the eye part description um, custom property we created in the eye part. Right. So for the part 0 2, so is the second instance of the high part, we have the high part description. If we switch to the assembly one, we get the high part 0 1 instance, and in the build material we get also the high part one. So I hope uh, this was helpful for you. Uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Thank you, bye-bye.